Mr. President, Japan supports the mainstreaming of human rights in a, in a variety, variety of areas, including peace and development in the United Nations. This is consist, consistent with Japan's human security approach, which, which place value on protecting individuals and communities and enhancing capacity building. In 1960, my grandmother, Masa Nakayama, assumed the post of Minister of Health as the first female cabinet minister in Japan. For 48 years since then, Japan has been making effort to strengthen the role of women in the society. In addition to further strengthening of the standpoint of women, we wish to further expand the mainstreaming of human rights for vulnerable groups, such as the elderly children and persons with disabilities. Based, based on this concept, in September last year, Japan signed the Convention on the Rights of the Persons with Disabilities. We are considering to ratify the, the Convention at as early a date as possible. From our own domestic experience, Japan intends to take the in initiative in eradicating discrimination against leprosy affected persons and their families. Together with Mr. Yohei Sasakawa, who was appointed by Japan last year as the goodwill ambassador for the human rights of people affected by leprosy, we wish to deepen the understanding of the, of the international community concerning this issue. In 2001, Japan hosted the Second World Conference against commercial sexual explo exploitation of children. We welcome the official decision taken by Brazil to hold the Third World Conference in November, in November this year. As the host of the Second World Conference, Japan intends to extend the maximum possible cooperation in order to make the Third World Conference a success by working together with governments and relevant organizations involved. Mr. President, in order to secure fundamental human rights, it is essential to make effort in a variety of areas, including peace and development. The need for such efforts is particularly evident in Africa. Under the basic message of towards a vibrant Africa, Japan will host the Tokyo International Conference on African Development from 28th to 30th, 30th of May this year. One of the main priority items will be addressing the theme of establish, establishing human security. We intend to hold discussions on peace building and democratization measures through development measures towards the achievement of the, of the Millennium Development Goals and measures to strengthen support for democratization. We would like to ask everyone for their cooperation with this conference. Mr. President, the Human Rights Council has reached a threshold for determining whether or not it can become a truly effective organization. Japan's term of office as an original member of the Council will come to an end in May. However, in order to continue to make a positive contribution in the future, Japan intends to stand as a candidate at the next election for the Council. We hope we will receive the support of many nations. The Human Rights Council, which has carried the hopes of the international community since its creation, 
must develop steadily. steadily. Japan will play a responsible role in the international community as a peace fostering nation that contributes to world peace and development. We express our resolve to build the future of the Human Rights Council together with its fellow members of the international community. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. I thank the distinguished state, the distinguished Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan for his statement. I give the floor to His Excellency Mr. Manuel Lobo Antunes, Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs of Portugal.